Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add the strike through text formatting option to Microsoft Outlook emails. So if you're a Word user, and you probably know in, inside Word, you could just highlight your text, go to the font group, click on the strike through button there on the home tab, and then you're done just like that. But let's say, what if you want to do it in an email? So let's open this guy here. Let's say we want to reply and we want to strike through this. You'll see we don't have the option there. So what you could do, the slow method, or the longer method, click on the pop-out here for under basic text for font, then you can click on strike through checkbox there. But every time you want to do it, you're going to have to go through that same procedure. So if you use it a lot, then you might want to make a little icon for it on your ribbon here. So to do so, you want to make sure you're on in a message. Any message is fine, just make sure you're not and this screen here where you see the home tab, you want to make sure you can see the message tab because that's where you want to put it in here. So go click on file, options, customize ribbon, and then you need to decide where you want to put it. So first you need to make a new group. So if you just click on new group, then it's going to put it at the end, which will put it right here. But if you want it closer to your text options, then what you could do just click on basic text because that's what uh, this section is called right here and then do a new group Then you got to click on rename to give it a name you'll that'll make sense so we'll call this strike through and then you could pick an icon too if you want so now that we have our group we need to add the strike through command so right here where it says popular commands change this to all commands and then scroll down and find strike through right there just add it so now it's in that group and so we'll click on OK and now you can see we have a strike through button right there next to our other text formatting so all we have to do now is just strike through or if we want to you know, do multiple at a time just like that and if you don't like it you can just go back into the settings and uh, remove it from the ribbon and you'll be back to normal so one more time file options customize ribbon Click where you want the group, make a new group, rename it, and then change this from popular commands to all commands, find strike through, and add it to your group. Click OK, and then you'll have your button right there, and you'll be good to go. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.